we don't think you get things done in isolation. You get things done by working with others. You get things done by countries working with countries and by people working with people. We're not going to tackle these serious issues that we've got in the world unless we talk to each other, listen to each other, and try and find solutions together. I'm really delighted to be here in Naivasha today to meet the first 30 Flair Fellows that we're funding under a brand new scheme to support independent researchers in Africa. Uh, what we have done in the past year or so is to create what we think is the premier postdoctoral program in Africa. The really important aspect of this program is for people to collaborate with each other, with other researchers working in Africa, and with other researchers working across the world, particularly in the UK. Uh, in Africa, unfortunately, there are very few opportunities for people to do postdoctoral studies. Uh, many of the African institutions, universities, um, don't have this in their career pathways. So one of the things we are trying to do is to catalyze the embedment of the postdoctoral career pathways in African universities. As a young scientist based in Africa, many times there isn't funding that allows you to focus on research. Why this grant seemed very attractive to me was that there was enough money in it to allow one to focus on research, to equip themselves, to train students as a way of capacity building for Africa as well, to solve the problems that the African continent faces. We have a shortage of leadership, scientific leadership on the continent, and we think FLAIR can help address that key gap of the next generation of excellent leaders from Africa. Au Sénégal, nous avons le problème d'accès à l'énergie dans le milieu rural et que euh, le réseau électrique euh, n'est pas partout. Il y, y a une partie de, 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 de l'arrêt du pays qui n'ont pas accès à, ce, à cela. Donc l'utilité est là, le besoin est là de développer des technologies qui leur permettront d'avoir accès à cette, à cette énergie. I mean, the ideas have been fantastic to hear. We identify the best people, we are funding the best ideas, and I think the discussions and the presentations in the last two days have really left me feeling we have selected the best cream of people uh, for this first cohort. Uh, I come from Zimbabwe, and in Zimbabwe, uh, most of these universities, they don't have a um, solid research culture. Uh, so you are looking at in terms of capacity, um, assets or equipment that is needed to carry out um, cutting edge research, research that is of high quality. And looking at the flare, the amount uh, of the grant is so much that you can actually acquire the equipment that you, can, you actually need to carry out um, cutting edge research. In the short term, we want them to really produ produce, from a scholarly perspective, some of the best science possible. We want to demonstrate that actually we are dealing with some of the brightest minds on the continent who can address themselves to some of the big challenges and be able to communicate those challenges through the professional outputs, whether it is scholarly research papers, or public engagement, or community engagement, or media engagement. We want to see that in the short term. And thank you jeunes chercheurs d'origine francophone. On demande de rédiger un projet en anglais. Ce n'était pas facile quand même, mais ça ne doit pas créer une barrière parce que tout scientifique est capable aujourd'hui de produire des articles qui sont publiés dans des journaux scientifiques. Donc la langue scientifique, c'est l'anglais. Donc j'encourage euh, les jeunes chercheurs, surtout du côté francophone, de s'ouvrir aux, aux bailleurs qui sont du côté anglophone parce que vraiment, il y, y, y a des opportunités. Um, I'm incredibly grateful for the AAS and the RDS for this opportunity to showcase my research and, and, and for their support, for this show of faith, for, for them believing in me and this project and, and um, the concept that I could become a future leader of research, the sort of research in my continent and the world. So I'm very grateful for that.